probably remember this little boy and last week's heartbreaking decision by Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children not to treat him. Well, it turns out this story isn't over yet. The CBC's Lori Graham explains why. Milton Weiner is a doctor in New York who specializes in treating facial malformations. And that's about two weeks after surgery. That's good news for Shun Pham, who's burdened by a massive growth on his face that he desperately wants removed. He says he cried when he was told he wouldn't be getting surgery, afraid, he says, he'll never have any friends. Toronto's Sick Kids Hospital declined to comment on camera. It would only say the decision not to operate on Shun is final. That it was made by a panel of experts, doctors, bioethicists, lawyers, who felt it was too risky and not in Shun's best interest to have surgery. Sick Kids told him it was a birthmark that was not life-threatening, that it would eventually stop growing. Want to try to make you a special cake? There it is. John Ballow is 45 and has the same condition. He's in the middle of a series of complicated surgeries. But to think that they were going to give up and give the money to charity and and uh, and and uh, lose the opportunity to try to get medical condition, I, I really bothered me. Ballow says he came forward because he doesn't want Shun to give up. I'm heartbroken that Shun Pham will have to return without the surgery. And neither do hundreds of other people from across the country who've written letters of support to the Canadian charity that brought Shun from an orphanage in Vietnam to Toronto. We have to do everything we can to try and help him. He deserves better. He deserves love, and uh, everyone does. So, um... We're not going to stop. And so a second opinion. Dr. Weiner says he's seen pictures of Shun and he thinks he might be able to help. I am cautiously optimistic. Obviously I need to see the child and I need to see the scans, but I believe that there is considerable hope that we can help this child. Shun says he'll go anywhere if it means he won't have to carry the mass that has been growing on his face since he was a baby. In the meantime, Shun will be leaving Toronto and his host family where he's lived for the past four months. He's moving to Halifax to live with another family while he waits to find out if a doctor somewhere is willing to do surgery. Lori Graham, CBC News, Toronto.